Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is all about the haste spell and how to properly use it because it's probably the most uh, incorrectly deployed spell that we see right now. Um, obviously, it's very effective at speeding up your loons on La Luna attacks, and that's what we're, gonna, what we're gonna focus on for this video. But I see a lot of people in Genesis and in just wars in general. Um, not doing it the most efficient way possible. So today I'm going to be talking about three uh, little tips that will help you deploy your haste spells a lot better and uh, they can apply to pretty much any town hall level. I guess town hall 9, 10, and 11 are going to be the town hall levels we're specifically looking at. So we'll show some attacks a little bit later in the video, but first let me just kind of go through here and talk a little bit about the few tips I have for you guys. Um, the first one being haste over the defense, and I'll, ex I'll explain that in a moment. The second one being be aware of the time the haste spell lasts, and specifically the long amount of time it lasts. And then finally, uh, the last one is going to be use the haste as a way to plan your overall pathing of balloons. So those three might not make too much sense in the vague terms, but let me talk about the first one and it should make a lot more sense here. When I say haste over the defensive buildings, what do I mean by that? So basically one of the great things about the haste spell is that the balloon gets the effect of the haste for about two seconds or so, even after it leaves the haste spell, maybe one and a half, one to two seconds, something like that. So the balloon could be here in the haste spell, and then as it leaves, it's hasted, and then it slows down back to its normal speed, but it still goes quite a distance here um, under the haste uh, effect, even though it's not in the haste spell radius. So a balloon leaving a hasted building will, like let's say this archer tower's into haste, it will be hasted all the way to this next building, the cannon. But the thing that slows down balloons and really limits the haste effectiveness is when the haste does not extend to the building, therefore the balloons stop at a point where they are not being hasted, and the time it takes them to stop at a defense is enough for them to lose the haste um, effect typically, or at least very shortly after they take out the defense so they will not be hasted in the path towards the next building. The reason this is important is if you can get the haste spell to extend over whatever buildings in the area, the balloons will not only be hasted into that building, but they'll be hasted out of it too. So if you're coming at the outside of a building here, let's say you wanna get in, send your balloons in, get to that air defense or whatever, and possibly the wizard tower. Um, this isn't the best example because the defenses are so close right here, but even if the air defense is maybe two tiles back in this direction, um, you don't wanna drop your haste like that. We see people do that all the time. I don't know why. I mean, unless there's like a sweeper that's gonna just be pushing and pushing and you need to get that haste down as soon as possible. Doesn't make much sense. Um, you wanna drop it right like that. So the balloons go in, they still get the haste going in, but they're gonna get it going out too. And that's much more effective than the few, like the one or two extra tiles you might get by deploying it farther out because instead of that uh, like one to two tile difference, you're gonna get the entire distance between the defenses hasted instead of not being hasted because you pushed out the spell so far. So make sure you're hasting over defenses. You can apply that to many different scenarios, but in general, when you're planning out your haste um, deployment, not only coming at the base from the outside, but even while your balloons are inside the base, between defenses, if um, this is, a haste is a lot bigger, but if the haste was like that big, you wouldn't want to deploy it between defenses. Um, you want to deploy it on a defense and uh, have it so the balloons typically deploy it on the defense, uh, edging out in the direction they were coming from. So if they're, coming at, let's say this cannon right here, if they're coming at this cannon from this direction, uh, drop your haste outwards to extend in welcome to the balloons as they approach the defense and have it cover the defense so they also leave with the haste. That's the best way to do it. Don't drop it like that because um, as your balloons come in, they won't be hasted and they'll still have been hasted anyway coming out because the effect lasts with them. It won't make that much of a difference for them to also have it last longer as they leave, have it extending towards the balloons as they come in. So um, 
hopefully that makes sense there. The second thing, um, like I said, is be aware of the time the haste spell lasts. For Town Hall 10, I know it's 20 seconds for a max haste spell. I believe that's level 3. And uh, I actually just looked that up the other day. And that's important because people drop them as if they only last for like 5 seconds. You can, you know, plan out your attack. And before you even drop any balloons or hounds, drop your outer hastes. If you're going to haste into like these two buildings on the outside, drop them ahead of time. You want to make sure you get the full value of them. Don't like deploy your balloons, then drop the haste right on top of the group of balloons. That's just not worth it. You got to be smart about it. Um, drop it, like I said, in the first tip on the defense, uh, extending outwards towards your balloons, but also drop it ahead of time if you can. The 20 seconds or whatever, maybe 15 if you're Town Hall 9, I don't know the exact number for that, but it lasts longer than you think. Um, anything over 10 seconds really is plenty of time if it's the first level of defenses. So drop them ahead of time, like drop, you know, all three or haste, like one, two, three. It just makes it easier to deploy everything if you don't have to switch between haste and balloon and hound. You can just get all the haste spells out of the way. That's a nice little benefit there. Finally, use your haste spells to kind of guide the pathing of your balloons. Now, focus on this section of the base down here. Pretend that you're at a Town Hall 10 attack. This applies to any attack, but pretend we're attacking a Town Hall 10 base, and this is what's left up. This is what your kill squad didn't get. You have to get that with your Laloon. And you're coming at the base from this direction. Um, and then you're deploying balloons around in a uh, clockwise direction to reinforce. You want to, in general, Town Hall 9 too especially, you want to invest your spells more in the balloons entering the base than the uh, secondary kind of wave that you deploy uh, to support your balloons later on. You want the hate, the spells, the haste, and also other spells too for this main group. And the reason for that is it's just if let's let's go through how it works and it might make more sense if you send your balloons in here then send some in here to reinforce and you haste these in then the reinforcements are dealing with everything on their own this group gets cut off essentially it it's irrelevant because these balloons are already in taking all the fire doing their best to deal with the base on their own these will get isolated they'll take out their defenses but they won't have enough time to get in here before the other balloons are already through doing the job of what those balloons should have done. Whereas on the other hand, if you drop these balloons in here and you haste them in and you kind of send them through the base with the spells, the balloons reinforcing still have a job to do because they're still taking out these defenses and making sure these balloons are pushed across the middle. They don't have any room to kind of come out. You want them getting the high value defenses, in this case like these three defenses. You want them staying in the core of the base. So the balloons you send in still have a role, but they're not going to be as important as that main group. Um, so you want to use the haste and the other spells uh, that you have. Um, typically, in general, there's obviously exceptions, on the original group you send in right at the beginning that you want to cut across the base, and typically you go a little bit heavier on the balloons on, uh, on whatever side you're originally coming from. Uh, that's just going to make it the best for your pathing. And um, yeah, you, you don't want any parts of your attack to be cut off. You don't want the balloons here to get hasted too fast while these are still back here. Um, just kind of make it so they all converge at once and that the balloons that are initially in the base are pushed into the middle uh, using your haste spells because the haste speeds balloons up so you can speed these across the base so they get the benefit of these helping with the funnel, etc., etc. So use those haste spells to your advantage for pathing. Um, so anyway, yeah, I think that pretty much covers the three tips I wanted to talk about. Let's take a look at a few attacks now. Okay, so here we go uh, with a pretty good example here. This one is a Town Hall 10 attack, and I wanted to show this um, for a few reasons. It only uses two haste spells. The Town Hall 9 one we're going to look at uses five, so it has a little bit more quantity. But um, this one is a good example of uh, how to use the haste, and it illustrates uh, one of the concepts I've talked about, which you'll see in a moment. But um, first of all, Templar Assassin, great value with this kill squad. Um, nice and convenient. There's a Tesla farm right there. So he just drops the heroes and gets all four of the Teslas, an air defense, a uh, archer tower, and like a wizard tower taken out just for the price of his heroes pretty much. 
So awesome value there. Um, but take a look at this first haste that's going to be right on the uh, the bottom right of the screen there towards that inferno. Drops it maybe a little bit late, but not really that late. Um, and the it doesn't extend to the inferno, but the balloons are still propelled all the way to the inferno. So he understands that he wants to haste them into the archer tower and the cannon initially and have the haste last until the inferno. And even though the spell is not that big physically, he's able to do it just by the effect lasting. So he continues his deployment. The next haste will go down by the next inferno. Um, that one was a little bit far back. It could have been farther out to reach the balloons a little bit better and maybe a tad earlier, but actually it was a fine. Um, but it propels the balloons into the inferno and you can see uh, the effect is pretty much lasted as the, um, until they reach their next defense. So unless your balloons are like traveling across the map or something crazy like that, as long as they're under haste while they're taking out the defense, they have a free uh, expedited trip to their next defense. So keep that in mind. Your haste never has to extend um, beyond the defense in terms of leading them into the next defense. All it has to do is lead them into the defense and leave them hasted as they hover over the defense to take it out. And if you do that, you'll be good. The next Town Hall 9 one, probably even a better example. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and switch to a different war real quick. Um, the more recent war and take a look at that. So nice attack to Templar Assassin. And let's uh, switch into a more recent war. Um, this one was a terrible war, to be honest. Just midweek war, couldn't just get together. Um, I'm forgetting the number of the attack now. Yeah, this was at 26. Um, sir, yeah, here it is. Uh, this one was a great example. The haste spell deployment was pretty much spot on, and I will kind of try to do my best to commentate through it. And I'm going to have to pause it a little bit. I don't like being the guy that pauses the video and just kind of breaks up the attacks a lot, but it might be necessary for the purposes of this video. So uh, there's the kill squad just getting what he wants taken out, um, the rage, all that good stuff. But um, in just a moment, he will deploy the balloons. Has the five haste, the rage is um, less common, especially at Town Hall 9, when there's not much need for the extra DPS typically. The haste are much more applicable, and uh, they definitely work very well. Doesn't quite get that air defense taken out at 3 o'clock, so four air defenses left up. Um, he definitely has to be um, spot on with his the rest of his deployment, which he is, in order to get the three star here. So pops the queen's ability, and here he goes. Um, the balloons, one actually quick thing I want to add. You can drop the balloons before the Lava Hound just to make it so the Lava Hound doesn't get too far out in front, especially for like a wizard tower that has such limited range. Um, but he deployed the balloons pretty quickly after, so it uh, didn't matter that much in the long run. But take a look at the haste deployment. Basically, if you ignore the wizard tower, this is a haste for the cannon because he's hasting them into the cannon. It covers the cannon and it'll propel them into the air defense. But the wizard tower so happens to be there also. So it's also kind of hasted. But um, the main purpose is for the cannon and then to get them into that next air defense and uh, keep them moving along. So uh, balloons, that one, that haste... Um, extended right to the wizard tower right there so you can see they uh, are hasted into the air defense also very important um, good deployment there the haste was a little bit late but it's hard to deploy them on time uh, when you're deploying all your troops especially when it's a long attack so you can't drop them all at the beginning or anything like that um, and you have to adapt a little bit too so the haste coming in they're just reaching the defenses uh, the balloons are going to go to and giving them a free trip to the next defense whichever one they want uh, yeah, just great deployment. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. The three principles I talked about. Uh, first, haste uh, over the defense, but leaning out towards the direction your balloons are coming from. Second, be aware of the amount of time your haste lasts for. And if you can, drop two or three of them at the beginning, right before you drop in your balloons and your hounds. Typically, the haste is just sitting there for an extra 10 seconds after your balloons have already passed through, so you can take advantage of that. And then finally, just uh, use those as a weapon to push your main group of balloons across the middle of the base and uh, really propel them through and have the rest of your balloons that you send through be support balloons to keep your main group inside the base. That's how you want to think of these types of attacks. So thanks for watching. Nice attacks to the two attackers and I uh, hope you guys liked the video. No poll this week, unfortunately. Um, 
there's you know a little bit of question as to I think one or two clans in terms of their uh, status in the league. So um, we're gonna sit back. I'm kind of busy anyway, and just uh, see how it goes. And uh, should be back and up next week. But there will be a recap, I think, for the CWL matchups coming this week. So yeah, I look forward to that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.